And today's verse is Hebrews 10, 23, that says, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful. When I was a little girl, I used to play this game where I'd grab my best friend's hands and we would lean back on the playground and we would spin round and round and round and we loved it, though I feel nauseous just thinking about it right now. But the only way it worked is because we both trusted each other. It was built on trust. If one of us let go, both of us went flying. And so when I think about this verse, there's a difference here with God. If we let go of God, he is still holding on to us. So we can hold on to hope knowing the God of hope is holding on to us. And why? Because he who promised is faithful. Now, when you promise something, you're making a commitment to a future action, something you will or will not do. And, and so what are those promises from God that we can hold on to? Well, good news, the Bible is full of them. So I just, I wanna point out three today. This one, 2 Thessalonians says that God promises justice for those who have experienced injustice. Philippians 1, 6 says that God promises to finish the good work he put inside you. You're not done yet, and that's good news. And then John 14, Jesus promises that he's going to prepare a place for us, and he will come back and get us. He will not leave us orphaned or abandoned. I don't know what promise you need today, but here's an idea. Take a sticky note and write a promise to hold on to today and put it somewhere that you're going to see it, maybe in your kitchen window, on your dashboard, in your office, and repeat it often to yourself because he who promised is faithful.